<laughs> hope you guys like that. Welcome. Uh, this is Angelo, and uh, I have a pretty fun shave I'm going to do today. Uh, as you can see, I definitely need it. But as you saw just now, this beauty right here, which is the glow in the dark 3D printed set that I got from uh, Philip Sharp, aka Sharp Shaver, uh, he 3D printed this, and this is just so fun, so cool. Uh, this one's in the blue that you saw, and this is in the beautiful atomic green. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you guys have seen, this is his logo right there. And what's cool that he did here on the brush for me, not only does he have his logo here, you can see that, but because of the bomb reference, is there's also the radiation symbol on there which is so cool so it just fits into the theme so yes what i'm using today for software um also amazing product from a fellow uh, michigander here is going to be Denton magic and i'm going to be using flores de amor and that is a homage to tres flores and if you know me i love me some tres flores it's what i grew up on so um, and it's also the white t-shirt because this was a staple growing up. The majority of all the men and some of the women uh, in my family growing up was when you were home, this is pretty much what you were wearing, you know, all the time. Anyways, so uh, check out uh, Philip Sharp, Philip Sharp Shaver. Uh, he's on Instagram. He also has an Etsy page too. And um, it's just amazing stuff. He's got all different colors, different colorways. He's working on like dual colors and stuff like that. Um, contact him, go give him a follow on his page. And uh, yeah, so go check him out, guys. It's just, you can kind of see it. There's a uh, little thing and there's ridges on the inside. I've been working on this because it just smells amazing in here. And I really, really cannot wait to get my shave going with this Denton Magic soap. So they just paired really well together. And yeah, I mean, look at that, beautiful. So, but if I can get that scooped out, you can kind of see the ridges right there. So, got that set aside. Yes, it really does glow really well. So if you want glow or if you just want regular filaments, like 3D printed, different colors, contact Philip, uh, and then just kind of go from there and he'll walk you through the process. Uh, shipping, everything was great. So definitely recommend, go check him out. Same thing with uh, Denton Magics. Go check him out, <clears throat> Denton Magics. You know, do a search, same thing. He's on Instagram, he's got his website. Um, and I just, I, I love these two inch, two ounce, sorry. Well, yeah, uh, jars, glass. Um, I just love it, great for travel, but you know, it's just, I really like it. A uh, little bit harder soap, which is good. You can see I've scooped many times out of this. And also the splash is going to be two ounces to match. So great for travel. Definitely recommend. Hardware, I am going to be using, because I figured into the theme, I'm trying to go back to like the early 40s, or sorry, late 40s, early 50s type of stuff, when Thresfoldus was hitting hard, as well as the, the atomic, I'm not gonna say it, but you know, the, uh, when that stuff was going on. Um, so I'm gonna be using my 1940s super speed and also as a treat that I got from uh, Philip, uh, Sharp Shaver, with my thing. He sent me a tuft, actually two tufts of these Filosos. Uh, so this is Latino uh, Ram Company out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And so they have these. They got a lot of stuff. They got uh, like your pomades and things like that. And uh, but also uh, these blades, which I'm eager to try. So if you go there, um, Filosos, F-I-L-O-S-O. Go check them out. Uh, it's filosobarberbrand.com. And they got this, uh, right now they got the pricing of the 100 packs, I think for like 13 bucks right here. So uh, go check them out. And then also to check out Denton Magics. So as of this filming right now, which is March, 2024, he's got these for 10.99 and then you got the splash too. So the set notes on this. If you know Tres Flores, you know exactly what you're getting into. You know that beautiful smell, the smell that I grew up with and um, it just resonates with you and it just kind of hits um, that special memory bank. Um, thinking about, you know, the uh, the men and stuff like that and the family 
growing up, um, you know, all the Chicanos and stuff really, Tres Flores is where it was at. So, um, but anyways, so this here, the Flores de Amor is a tribute to that. And so you have floral combination, jasmine, iris, lilies, and then the carnation. So I know that's four, but uh, the one thing about Tres Flores is that nobody really knew what the three flowers were. So um, Denton Magic's worked on it to be able to recreate that and he hit it spot on and it is just beautiful. I have he hit it right on the nail on the head. So, so let's, get, let's get into the shape, man. So pull one out here. This is how they come. It looks, I really like the packaging. I love when they have the double wrap like like this. And I wanted to wait to do it on camera. Um, that way you guys see, because what's really cool, barely any, if any, glue on that blade. And it's got the, the filoso on there so that's what i mean because i don't know if you ever had blades where they are just inundated with glue just everywhere and they get it in your razor and you got to clean it out so well done over there at filoso's barber brand so get that right there drop that in and uh, boom there we go We're going back to the late 40s guys or early 40s where that thing was made so all right i have my sink full of water there we go. So, here we go. This is a synthetic nut in this. So, oh yeah, I really want to enjoy this shave. Um, Splays pretty well. Good backbone to it. And I know with uh, uh, the brushes uh, that Philip is doing, I think he's going to have some other options out there too when it comes to his knots. Um, he, you know, he really likes to really get involved in when it comes to the look. So, you know, like this, I thought like the black with the clear, so when it glows, I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so, we, you know, kind of paired up that together. So he's like, yeah, I think it'll look really good. So, I mean, he, the conversation going throughout the, the, you know, through uh, the whole process of him making it, he uh, sent me screenshots and stuff like that. So when you're working with Philip, um, you're getting the play by play. So he wants to make sure that, you know, what his customers are, you know, that they're going to be satisfied with what they want, with what they get. So, um, yeah. So, all right. Look at that. Mm. That magic's it's very smooth. Very, very slick, but also it's just a beautiful scent. And I put the scent strength uh, about between a three, four, about a ten. Um, minimal, but I don't say minimal, but it's it's right to, to, to you know, then just, just right at the medium to under medium. But then you get the splash on top of that. And of course, the dress floated. So let's go, guys. Oh, yeah. One thing about these uh, vintage Gillette's, you have to be careful. And I always say this, you got those little... Uh, blade overhang tabs, so be mindful of those guys. Um, but the audible feedback when you get from these old uh, twist to open butterfly razors, as they're called, I love that audio audible feedback. And wow, now mind you, I have a coarse coarse beard. And. These Filosos blades are doing really well. Well done. All right. I'm gonna have to get me a pack of these. Plus supporting the gente, la raza down there, the homies down there. There's the gear towards barbers, um, which is good. Uh, but also us wet shavers. Cool. cool thing is uh, you see barbers when they use the uh, the shavettes, so they'll take a, a you know a DE blade, snap them in half, so they can fit them into their shavette. You know when they're lining up and all that, doing all that magic that they do. Um, it's really cool to see barbers doing that using a shavette or a straight razor if they're able. But 
um, you know, sanitary reasons. It's a disposable blade, so they're typically going to use um, shavettes. So, wow, guys, yeah. Like I said, my my beard can take can take down some blades. Like I've used um, a Voskhod on my my beard. Now, don't get me wrong; if you like them, more power to you. But I've had to switch out blades mid shave using a Voskhod blade because it just my beard. It was about three days of growth, and it just tore that blade down to dull. So I had to switch out blades mid shave. <laughs> but like I said, that's me. Um, but I do appreciate you guys coming and enjoying this shave with me. <clears throat> um, well, one thing that I do, pull off the side because be mindful of those tabs, guys. Don't get your nose bones. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, great blades. Really good blades. I'm definitely going to have to get a... Uh, oh, careful there. Ooh. Might have got my nose a little bit. You got to be careful. Slow it down. Um, yeah, these are really good blades. Thank you, Philip, for sending me these blades. I'm very excited about it. But also, too, thank you, um, Dead Magics, for uh, creating this soap because I have been just since I got into the uh, wet shaving game, say, uh, in uh, 2021. Uh, and I'm like, why hasn't anybody done the thrust for this? Because it's just the smell. If you love florals, I mean, I love florals. My wife loves florals. Uh, So I heard that somebody may have made one or something like that. Like there was a thing a long time ago, but I guess it didn't take off or anything. Um, and I really got my nose. Huh. Wow. Be careful with these guys. But I think it was just me just not paying attention. And I just kind of slipped my nose just a little bit. They are sharp. So be careful. Um... So yeah, this one here is just a great recreation of that beautiful scent, if you know what it is. So comment below if you if you grew up or if you know somebody or if you use um, the Tres Flores, would it be this here, the liquid or the, uh, in the jar, the, uh, the brilliantine, the pomade. So sound off in the comments if you used it or if you <laughs> grew up with it like I did. So that was a good first pass. Like, wow. That was really nice. Do I want to get that? Oh, whew, right there. Okay, here we go. Boom. Look at that. Yeah. See, usually on my second pass, I do more painting. Um, opposed to splaying as much because I've already taken down the majority of the beard. So usually on my second pass, I'll just paint it on. Give a good layer there. All right, the slip nip. There we go. Yes. Mmm, that just smells really good. That's exactly what I needed today. So, see, the beauty thing about wet shaving, like this traditional shaving, is that, you know, when you own products like these, you look forward to your shave. Like me, I usually shave at night after my shower. And I look forward to it because it's like, you know, not only am I in, uh, doing self care, but I'm also engaging in, you know, reliving a memory. Um, so, you know, stuff like this, 
<clears throat> will be able to take you there. You know, go down memory lane, uh, but also creating memories for yourself. So, there we go. Hey, look at that. That blade is doing really well. Wow. You can hear the, the feedback. Like I said, I have coarse, coarse, coarse hair. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now we gotta be careful. We're getting close to the nose. Like I said, I've been doing this about, two, you know, two and a half years. You still gotta be careful, you're still learning. I mean, for an example, look at me, I got my nose. So, <clears throat> take your time, guys. Take your time. Just because the razor is called super speed doesn't mean you have to be speedy. <laughs> Shout out to Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> There we go. Yes. Very good. Hmm? There we go. All right. All right. Now we do. Now for me, this is across the grain on my neck. I know for a lot of people, it can be against the grain. Like I always say, learn your grain map. of your face so that way you know um so you can get you know the best shave without trying to chase bbs um i mean if you want to that's okay that's a, you know that's your thing but always know your grain map know which way your beard goes there we go there we go yeah Perfect. This great glide with this that magic soaps. There's a lot of other offerings out that he has that I want to get. Um, Mayberry Man for sure. I want to get his barbershop. I have a couple that came out from and uh, Halloween that are really good. And uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on them, guys. He does great stuff. So plus also is a Michigan guy. So, you know, got to support him. <laughs> so, um, boom, there we go. All right. Man, that was really good. Thank you, Philip, for putting this together, for putting that, for making that, uh, that awesome set. And also for these blades. But uh, definitely, like I said, guys, go check out... Um, Sharp Shaver. Check out on Instagram, his Etsy page, and then also while you're out on the internet, uh, go to Denton Magics and check out his stuff, as well as uh, Filoso Barber Brand. So go check those guys out for sure. Um, I will grab the uh, links to their sites, put them in my put them in the description of this videos. So, there we go. Well, it's cool, Mike Denton, Denton Magics, he also grew up uh, with a Tres Flores, and when he used to, it says here on the description, when he actually used to have a little bit of hair and a beard, Tres Flores. So, I guess, don't sleep on this. This is a classic for a reason, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to set that there. I'm going to open up my splatch. Here we go. So, there we go. A little bit here. There we go. Bang, bang, boom. Get that there. Oh, what do I got here? Oh, that's from my towel. Oh, there we go. All right, there it is. Mm, man. 
perfect after a long day. Oh, man. Yes. Amazing. And it's because some in the hair there we go now we're cooking with manteca right boom <laughs> all right everybody thank you thank you for stopping by i appreciate it and uh take care of each other man i am smelling good and feeling good talk to you later guys a los vemos